you feel that, that your message, uh, uh, apparent message of love that you brought back from Islam is, is the real reason they're <laughs> after you, because you're not hating as hard as they want you to? Well, I never did hate anybody hard. Uh, but I but I do know that when I wrote that letter saying that there were white people in Mecca, it shook up a lot of Muslims, because most of the Muslims who follow Mr. Muhammad absolutely believed that it was impossible, physically impossible, I should say divinely impossible, for a white person to go to Mecca. Uh, and my trip there uh, shattered that image, or that misconcept. Anyone call you directly, Malcolm? Oh, I've been receiving calls ever since I left the black Muslim movement. And what, what sort of calls? Now, I'm going to disenchant it and deal with the fact that these men who were your brothers are making threats against your life? No, because actually it's not their fault. Uh, most of them, now Joseph and the officials, they have a knowledge of what it's all about. But the rank and file Muslim brother does not know what it's all about. Uh, they are out of religious sincerity. They think that they are doing the will of Allah by protecting a man who I myself taught them was divine. So uh, I don't in any way fault them. But those who are over them and give the orders, and actually the ultimate order comes from Elijah Muhammad himself. As long as I represented the black Muslim movement as a, uh, an example of morality, unity, and militancy, as long as I could do that, I represented it. It was when I realized that it could not be represented as that, that I came on and started working among the non-Muslim uh, Negroes, as I announced in, in uh, January, and I had no intention, or rather, March, and I had no intention of ever even speaking on this. Had they left me alone, you still wouldn't know what really took place. Why are they threatening your life? Well, uh, primarily because they're afraid that I will tell the real reason that they've been, that I'm out of the black Muslim movement, which I never told. I kept to myself. But the real, real reason is that Elijah Muhammad, the head of the movement, is the father of eight children by six different teenage girls. Different, uh, six different teenage girls who were his private personal secretary. Well, the one who first made me aware of this was Wallace Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad's son. And I had uh, stated in a newspaper article about an effort to take my life back in January, and at that time the Muslims denied it. In fact, they tried to make it appear to my brother that I was insane. But on a program in Chicago called Hotline, it's moder moderated by Wesley South. Don Ali, the national secretary, admitted, uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, one of these days last week, that they absolutely were going to kill me. What you get steps out of the would you take to protect yourself from this threat? I take no steps. I have a rifle. If anybody comes to my house without a good reason, I, I intend to try and use it. Uh, and that's all. Right now? No, I don't worry. I'll tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. No, I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. No, I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. No, I don't worry. I'll tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. No, I don't worry. I'll tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything.